Hey everybody, welcome to day number eight of the New England Farmhouse Renovation. I'm coming to you today from the basement, uh, also known as the in-law suite, and we are directly under the dining room. Yesterday when we were building the stairs, we determined that the floor in the dining room was off. Well, today we brought in a laser level to see exactly how off it is. And we measured it from the center beam of the house, which is over here by the stairs, 20 feet to this brick wall, which on the property line faces the barn. And we determined it's three and a half inches off. So we have a three and a half inch drop from the center of the house, 20 feet to this side of the house. Now that works itself out to about a two degree pitch, which is great for model races, but it's not great for what we want to do and how we want to live in it. So we made the decision that we're going to level the floor here. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to glam two by eight boards onto these existing joists and we're going to push them up so that they're going to be, make up for the three and a half inches. Then we'll drop some strings from here to the center of the house and we'll glam two by eights on each one of the joists following that string line until we blend it all in with the existing part of the house that's over there. So the floor is going to be all one level. We could really see that uh, the difference in the floor when we looked at the step up to the kitchen. Well, walking over to this side of the house here, we can see that that's exactly how they leveled the kitchen. So these darker boards that you see here are the old joists and these lighter boards are two by eights that were glammed onto the old joists to push it up in order to level it. And then they put subfloor plywood on and then the wood floor on top. So we're gonna use the exact same technique that they use in the kitchen over here in the dining room so that we're gonna have all one level and get rid of that, stoop, uh, that step up into the kitchen. Well, we started the process today by ripping up the subfloor. Um, and there was two levels of it. Uh, and we've got some plywood down here now because it's not really that easy to walk on. Uh, but when they put these in, they didn't have plywood that was readily available. So they would just use whatever scrap wood they had around. And it could have been shingles. We found linoleum. We found newspaper. They put whatever they could underneath. Uh, and we're going to get rid of all that. And we're going to use subfloor, um, 5 8 subfloor. And then we're going to use 3 quarter floorboards, which we're going to get from a, a mill in Massachusetts that are going to match the existing floor for the rest of the house so that we're really going to try to keep that barnyard feel. Another thing we got done today was yesterday we had broke through the wall and we talked about the fact that we're going to get rid of the chimney. Well, we don't have the chimney there anymore. So now we've uh, built our archway. We've got a header up there to support it and that header is a 2 by 10 header which matches the header that's going to be in the kitchen. So we're going to add that same kind of uh, arch curve to it on either side to really kind of give a continuity uh, to the look and feel of the house. And even though this is not a load bearing wall over here, we're going to put an archway here so that all of the archways in the house all look the same. And that's going to go a long way to really kind of keeping the look and the feel the same. Going into uh, the living room now, we've gotten to our fourth level of plaster. Now, level four of the plaster means that all of our seams, all of the screw holes, have all been covered over four times and sanded four times to bring it up so that it's all one level and it's nice and smooth. But that smooth isn't carried throughout. Because we sand between each layer, the sand actually roughs up the paper. So you can certainly paint now, and a lot of people do, but I found that it actually, uh, you can tell the difference between the smoothness of the plaster and the smoothness of the paper. So we're gonna go a one step further. We're gonna go to a level five, which means we're gonna do a skim coat. So we're gonna plaster the entire wall so that we don't have that roughness. And then we're gonna sand it, and that's gonna be a lot of dust. And then we're gonna paint it, and we're gonna call this project done. So I think I got everything. Um, we broke down the chimney. We put an archway uh, through to the hallway, and that just really opened up uh, the dining room now. We pulled up the floor. We're working on the subfloor. We're going to level the joists. So there's definitely been a lot of uh, things that have come up that we didn't necessarily plan for, but we're rolling with the punches. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to uh, put down uh, some uh, 5 8 uh, subfloor, and we're going to take a tour and we're going to go up to uh, a sawmill and see about getting some really barn uh, style uh, floorboards and 
hope you all come with me and check it out. Thanks for checking it out today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.